You're here. I thought you'd be late. We've got a few things to do. We need to hurry. What seems to be the problem? We've received operation details. The Ironheart Pulse has supposedly been detected in this area, but it's impossible to triangulate since it's dispersed in several directions. That's correct, Gay. I can feel it clearly, but it's hard for me to pinpoint its exact position. However, I can confirm it is in this zone. <sighs> we were deployed here to find one thing, and now we also have to find the Ironheart. We'll have to look under every rock in Vespers. Freyna and I were sent here to look for a group of Volgas, who have stolen RK serum from Jaber and some other descendants. Reyna, Sharon, even I've already had my RK serum stolen by them once. Things will only get worse if we let them take any more of it. Those bastards. They satisfy their own desires by taking everything we humans have. They have to be stopped. If the Ironheart is underground, then it makes sense that we're detecting the Pulse in multiple locations. Not only is 55% of the surface of Vespers composed of slick inside, but this zone has a high distribution of strange-looking rocks. It's also one of the few zones where there are Ancestors' ruins on the surface, and most of the Ancestors' ruins are built out of Slickenside. That's why it's difficult to pinpoint the exact point of origin of the pulses. The characteristics of Slickenside make it easier for pulses to pass through it, which means there's a higher probability of pulses being detected simultaneously from multiple directions. When I analyze the strata, there are spaces that feel empty to me. They are most likely where the ancestors' ruins can be found. All entrances to these spaces emit pulses of similar intensity. However, you'll need to confirm in person whether these places are the correct paths to lead us to the Iron Heart. In that case, We'll need to check all the places detected by the guide. There's no way the Vulgus didn't prepare for this. All right, let's spread out and find the entrance that leads underground. That'll split the enemy's attention, so it's a good tactical approach as well. Freyna, I understand there are specialized drones that Albion has created to find the Ironheart. That's correct. Enzo's sending the drones here shortly. That is excellent news. Let's begin our search for the Iron Heart in earnest. This is Enzo. I have set coordinates for the Scandro. However, Volga's forces have been spotted in the area. If the drone is damaged, it may make this operation more difficult. Eliminate all enemies within the operation. These ones may not pose much of a challenge, but another force is in battle. Prepare yourself. Yeah. 
Data acquisition at 100%. Connection to the drone has been severed. Reanalyzing the collected data. This is Glay. I've found something. Meet me at the ruins outpost. All right. How can I help? This place has been mentioned in records throughout history. And as the name suggests, these are the ruins. Turns out this is where the greatest recorded number of ancestors gathered. Investigation by the excavation team and analysis by the magisters uncovered records mentioning the breakout of civil war. The ruins are evidence, remnants of this war. We don't yet know why the Civil War happened. Albion collapsed as a result of the war, and this is the only surviving record. Given the Ironheart is here, that may have been a factor behind the outbreak of any Civil War. Past or present, the Ironheart definitely has the capability to turn the fate of Ingress upside down. That hasn't changed. There were bound to be conflicts. This is the first I've heard of this Civil War. <sighs> Freyna's theory is quite interesting. The Iron Heart in Ingress. It could be powerful and dangerous enough to turn the fate of everything in existence upside down. Glay, I know you're a medical doctor. Do you have doctorates in history and geology as well? I just wanted to be able to explain anything my daughter was curious about. To be the person who could answer any questions she asked. Sounds like you'll have a lot to talk about once she returns. You must have experienced and learned countless things during the time she's been away. I have so much to tell her we'll probably stay up all night. Anyway, we should hurry. Guide, can you do an in-depth analysis of the ruins, please? There must be an entrance somewhere. Enzo here. I've been able to expand my range to the vicinity of the ruins thanks to the data acquired by the drones and the guide. Transmitting surface analysis information and intel on potential entrances to a sieves. That's not far from my current position. I'll go. Glay, I'll go. That's where the bastards from the Order of Truth have settled. I'm the only one who can withstand the toxins they use. I'll leave it to you then. HQ will continue to monitor the situation. Should anything happen to Freyna, please report immediately.
that seems to be expanding in real time. It could be a pathogen spread by the order. Neutralizing pathogens becomes a lot easier if we know what we're dealing with. Protect the equipment until we can analyze it. Kate, please share the analyzed data with me, too. Of course. See, I can properly assist you now, eh? Yo! 
Inaccessible. Freyno, what's the situation on your side? It's not inaccessible, but I'm worried about how the Order's toxins might affect you. Looking at Freyna's route, I can detect large quick pulses occurring at the place marked as the entrance. That means there's a high chance this entrance is connected to the Ancestor's ruins. Let's regroup and go together. What's going on? You're here. It's a good thing I took this side. 
Neither you nor Glay would have lasted. Let's go find this entrance. Ugh, I thought I crushed the Order. They've just regrouped. They're so horrible and dirty and disgusting. And there seems to be no end to them. Freyna, calm down. Your heart rate is increasing. It could trigger a traumatic episode. We don't have any sedatives. So if you start having seizures, we'll have to send you back to Albion. All right, I get it. I'll calm down. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's not enough for me to black out. Hey, Kate, can you hear me? Huh? Freyna? Yes, I hear you. What's happening? Anything I can help you with? I overheard your comms with Glay. You're doing something with the fungus, right? If we collect enough fungi, will you be able to make an antidote or antibody that gives us immunity? Of course. Although it may take some time, it's not impossible. Great idea. Kate, if you have any questions during production, get in touch right away. And remember to be methodical. You make mistakes when you're rushing. Ah, uh, wait. That was over five years ago. I'm not the same person I was back then. Our objective is to secure as much fungi as possible. Let's hurry. If we have an antidote or antibodies that give us immunity, the mission will become much easier. In order to quickly produce immunity antibodies, we need data on the antidote mechanism, stored in Albion. After comparing the data we have with Albion's existing data, we can either imitate it or create something similar. But since we need the data to be transferred safely, we need you to protect it.
All we need to do now is wait. Or an antidote, we need to understand the type, structure, and reactive mechanism of the toxin. We'll need tissue samples from the Vulcans. Let's go collect some. some kind of device here. We'll need to open it to find out what it is. But let's send it to Kate first and get her to analyze it.
enemy advancing. in the body. Disable their security protocols. Excellent opportunity, Kate. 
you'll be able to collect data on the side effects of the antibody on the descendants. have some DNA that needs analyzing. Uh, Glay, I don't think we should joke about it. <sighs> you sound just like Jin. Adorable. Thank you for your hard work. Don't worry, I know how capable you are. I heard you worked on my RK neutralizer. I'm sure it'll be effective against the toxin again. You can trust me. To be honest, I tested it on myself at the clinical trial stage. I'm fine, so as descendants, you definitely will be. What did you just say, Kate? That neutralizer was made from the Order's toxin. Do you know how dangerous that was? Do... do I... do I have to lose you too? Glay, I'm also part of Albion Headquarters. I'm one of many people working for Albion and all of humanity. The Descendants shouldn't be the only ones ready to sacrifice themselves. I'm ready to do my part. Let's help each other. Lighten up, Glay. Thanks to Kate's efforts, we can continue with the operation. Glay, this antibody will help you to stay strong for this operation. After all, it will give you immunity, and I've tested it on myself. We'll let it go this one time. But never again, you hear me? Okay. Thank you, Kate. Really. Now that everybody has the antibody, let's go get that Ironheart. We can't let the Vulgus take this one, too. If everyone is ready, 
I will lead the way. Let us find the Iron Heart. There is a space deep beneath this area. The energy waves are being dispersed by a metal device installed by the enemy. It will be difficult to determine the exact location of the Iron Heart. Damn it! Not only did they spread their toxins everywhere, they installed this as well. They most likely intended to use it to transport the Iron Heart they found. Analyzing layout of the ruins. RK covers 40% of the entire area. A point of note, the RK corresponds to a single pattern, unlike the patterns of the center. According to the layout analysis results, the location of these readings is identical to that used for tombs and altars. data we have gathered. There is a high probability that this is the tomb of one of the ancestors who died during the Civil War. The fact that they were laid to rest in such a deep location, either they were an ancestor of a high status, or they played an important role in the incidents related to the Iron Heart. I've identified the bulbous communications frequency being transmitted nearby. It will likely contain information we need. We should investigate. The Iron Heart isn't here. The Vulcus came to excavate the remains of the Ancestor. They plan to use this to open the Ancestor's vault. I don't understand. The remains of an Ancestor are a vault? What do you mean? If the vault contains an Iron Heart, it may have been placed there intentionally to prevent someone from coming in. The reason the vault is extracting DNA from the remains is likely because the vault can only be accessed through a bioscan. If that's the case, then the occupant of this tomb is the same individual who locked the vault. That's correct. They must be planning to use the DNA to allow them to bypass the biometric authentication and claim the Iron Heart. This device interferes with the sieve links. I'll restore the disrupted communications. Noise removal complete. Checking contents. Sender, Enzo. He says the Vulvas have been spotted moving to another zone. Have they found a way to open the vault already? Damn it! We need to get to that vault. Wait. We should secure the Ancestor's remains and the data just in case. If the vault can only be accessed through the biometric authentication of specific DNA, then we'll need that DNA as well. I've disabled the Vulcus data repository for now. I have also collected the data formatted sample of the remains. Well, that's a relief. I can't stand it when things go according to Vulcus plans. Let's deal with these bastards quickly and get moving.
units return to Albion to prepare for the next operation. Loading. If there's something you need, you'll need to pay. 